Yes, there is the tail of the tape for Alexandra Budabain. The flash from France. He's two and two here at Karate Combat. He said he's really properly back this time and it's going to be very different from his previous performances. He knows his opponent's a little bit taller, but he's got a way to deal with it. The toughest animal from Italy, a very proud Italian indeed, is Gabriele Scherra. You can see there he has got a fairly substantial three-inch reach advantage in the arms and five-inch reach advantage in the legs. Let's see if he can make that pay here. He's already in it. <laughs> he wants your, to go. Your referee for this one is Mr. Sam Mamidi. Please remember, follow us on all social media at Karate Combat and Karate.com on the web. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of the events here this evening. And they're going to clash in the middle of the pit here. White pants for Budabane, black pants for Chara. Budabane is fast. Ooh, that was a very nice calf kick there. You can see that height difference already as soon as they square up with each other. He needs to fight in close, Budabane has, because he will be more effective there, since his strikes can travel longer on close distance than his opponents. They tie up in the corner there, it's a nice Very throw from the double underhooks, it was almost a lateral drop. That's a good takedown from Chara. You know, Budabane Bas, he said to us in the pre-fight interviews that, you know, last time he had a plan, and it didn't go to plan, so this time, there is no plan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's uh, logic thinking. Still, I will do better. That was a nice double left hook there. Yeah, left straight. And then, and then across afterwards. As you say, he's, you know, he's got to do that hard thing of working his way inside first. He's also got to punch up a little bit. But the thing was that Jera moved his head backwards, which exposes his body. So he should go a left straight to the head and a right straight to the solar plexus. Oh, yeah. There, because it will be right there. So he tried it, so uh, Buddha Brand, he tried to intercept the fight with the hook, the front hook, by using the, the right time. Using the Seno Sen that I told you. There we go. Seno Sen. Oh, beautifully executed there. Yeah. Nice work from Chara with and that again. spinning kick, but he's uh, eaten one there. Counter striking well is the Frenchman. Chara wants him to hit the face. It's a technique I actually use as well. Uh, you know? give him an option and if you do that then they, at least they don't start creating openings they just go for the head they take the bait with me if you put your hands down I hit the body yeah Jero is standing very static in the middle here you see you see uh, well, I've, I've been saying that karate so beautiful left kick to the body oh and again a lovely throw from Jero really converted that rotational momentum to land Buda Bain on the canvas so Burdabang is so explosive, but how many times he can do that? Because it requires histamine, it requires energy to do that. So he can explode at the beginning of the fight, but we never know at the end of the fight if he can keep the pace. I think being a fitness model, I would hope his conditioning is, uh, is up to par, but... Uh, well, he does the runway. <laughs> he does fake, the runway. Fake chair out there. <laughs> Just pulling the kick back there, and they clash. Very decisively, it's double overhooks now for the Italian, and he pushes Budabane away. Oh, nice kick, but it was above the knee, which is not legal. Last 10 seconds here in this opening round. It is, of course, three threes if they need them. Budabane's really having to try and cover that distance. Yeah, well, he needs to. And uh, it's a smart thing what he's doing. A, a blitz the whole time. He needs to do that against a guy like that. So how do we feel, as, as we take a look at some of these replays, how do we feel who got the better of that first round? So I can say that uh, Burda Ben, he's, he's doing, he's so explosive and, and he, he catch, he catch the Chera with the, the hooks and with the combination of the straight punches. Yeah, I would love to see him go upstairs, push him backwards, and then go with a straight punch to the solar plexus. Because every time when he attacks, Chera moves his head all the oh, way back. So makes he's sense. opening up the body. Makes sense, makes sense. You saw just there in the corner of Alexander Bordebain is his sister, Katya. Gabriele Chera, of course, with his coach, Luigi, in his corner. 
Doing some cross training in uh, mixed martial arts in that gym as well. Well, both men still looking fairly fresh here. Yeah. Tattoo gloves. Oh, thought, I thought uh, suddenly we changed pretty stances here. Yeah, I, thought. I thought we were going to get a uh, toe to toe battle, but Chero returns to an orthodox stance and immediately Bordabane again is trying to cover that distance and get inside. He needs to because he has to stay outside right now. He's got simply to cover more ground than his opponent. Guys, just for the folks at home, how much more tiring is it just having to punch upwards that whole time? Well, officially, if you have to concentrate, punch up, you know, for your lactic acid, it, it should be part of your training. It will be drills that I do on the back on purpose, high punch, even when my opponent is not taller, because it's just very good for your shoulders. So I hope you did too. <laughs> But it's always harder than go for the body, 100% guaranteed. If I get tired with hitting the back high, I start hitting the, uh, the back to the body. And Chero is really starting to, to play with those long arms, that open guard now, trying to parry those shots on the way in. Yeah, said no said, he's trying it the yeah, whole time, yeah, right? Yeah, he's, he's trying it the whole time. We knew the new uh, technology, techno, techno, what is it, what do you call it? <laughs> My vocabulary certainly improved there. Tactical <laughs> words. And what is good is because Burda Ben, he's using the Renzo Quasa that I told you. He, he keeps continuing the movement. He doesn't stop in the first punch. Yep. Oh, connected there. The left hook landed. No, was it Tsuki? Ooh, that was a good kick. Well, the referee says continue, and Budabane has to snap himself back into the fight very quickly. Oh, and that's a big right hand boom, over the top. Boom. Chero's rock. <laughs> and you see there, trying to strike from an open guard. Wow, nice from Budabane there. Yeah, trying to spin past the legs. He off-balanced the Italian very well there. About a minute left in round number two. Yeah, well, Chera got hit. He might be still be a little dazed. That's why he's not attacking. And Budabane... He might have a problem with his leg, you know, because look the way he yeah, moves. Yeah, right? already yeah. starting to seem like yeah. he's wearing some damage on that front leg. You see how how he, he's running out of his stamina, Buddha Band, because he's so explosive, you know, which is karate requires a lot of explosiveness. So, but you see, now you can see more his movements. He, he starts to be more slow. Yep. It's got to be the legs. Well, let's see if... Uh, Gabriela Chera has spotted how slowly Budabane is starting to move and if he ratchets up those leg kicks some more. You see him, there we go. Look, you can see the right foot just yeah, twitches a little bit him. onto the ball before it snaps. Five more, I think fight's over. Oh, yeah. within. So now he needs to find a way, land it, give him a three shot, straight, straight hook, boom, land the kick. Yeah, <laughs> right? yes. Make combinations, there right. we go. So he's, he's switching, switching legs. Yeah, switching legs. Yeah. So he is hurt. We he, don't know for hurt. sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to see out round number two. A good round, perhaps, for Gabriele Chera there, it sounds like, Vas. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead, take a look at some of the replays from that round. Talk us through it. Yeah, you see, it was behind the knee. I say that is a legal kick. Boom. No, he can't. Move there, he landed a big right hand. Another one, nice to go for an uppercut. It, and there we Another go. Another calf kick. Oof. Taking it he's fully swimming. away from he's him. He's hurting. He? Yep. We can see that he's hurting. Yep. He switched the leg at the end of the round because he was probably feel a lot. And the thing with that is, though, the front leg, it's like when I switch stands, you know, and somebody attacks me with, with left low kicks, my right leg is not as conditioned because I'm never in that position. Yeah. So now when he continues in that stance and they start kicking the front leg, he never conditioned that leg, it's going to be worse. Oh, yeah. Three minutes left on the clock here. Our referee, Sam Amidi, is going to get this bout back underway for the final round. And uh, Gabriele Chera in the black pants running straight out to the middle here. Alexander Bordabane in the white, Ooh, and there you go, straight to the leg. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a leg kick stoppage here from the Italian. He should go for a high kick now. Look down, kick high. There you go. There we go. <laughs> it. Yeah, but the best would be if he would be in the south ball position. Uh, orthodox position. Because then he thinks it's another leg kick attack. I would start chopping down the other leg. Switch stances as well if I was Chera. And Bodobri needs to attack now. He cannot give him 
space. Yeah, Budavane, do you think it threw him off a little bit? The couple of kicks that may have gone slightly high and it, it threw him off because he was expecting to get called for it. There we go. Yeah, of course. It's all in his head, you know. Once you start complaining about it, you know he's he's annoyed by it. But I think they were perfectly legal kicks. Now, tell me, do you think Jerry needs to really press forward here or can he afford to buy his oh, time a little oh, bit? What, what oh. he did there, beautiful landing, a big right hand. That was nice, oh, beautiful blow again. Twisting now throw. some ground and pound. And he's in a standing position. And they're calling time here. Not sure entirely what for. The back of the head. Because he was feeling... Touching the back of his head, Buddha Bain was. Ah, we're going to call. Let's let's take a look at uh, the replay oh, here. So we're going to get it called for a late strike. Oh. And uh, Gabriel Chano is getting a, a warning for you see, back of the striking head. to the back of the head. You of course, you know, you've got to strike the target as presents here. He goes so down on the floor. So Chara working to go up high now, having fully throttled the legs of Alexandre Bordebain. Boom, boom. Beautiful counter there from Bordebain. That was nice. But again, he should go to the body. Yeah. I mean, especially third round, you know, start breathing heavy. Once he catches him on the, while he's breathing in, that's it. Out of the fight. Because then you're not flexing, same as with the legs. Everybody just looking for the head, but the, the body is sometimes open. <laughs> They don't take advantage of that. So. And the first kick he threw was actually a shoot on Gary. Remember what he shoot? I was to the body, the yeah. first one. Yeah. The very first kick in the round one. But the, then he stopped doing it. The very beginning of the fight, right? Yep. We've got a one minute left here in this bout. Budavain is trying to turn around what was a pretty fraught second round for him. And again, they tie up. It's uh, not been the best of clinch scenarios for him. Gabriele Chera has scored two or three fantastic takedowns during uh, this uh, this bout. Yeah, it's very hard to push off on the back like now for Budabain. Pretty even control of the center of the pit here. Chair has been baiting Budabain continuously, going very static at times. Yeah, you would think, why is uh, Chera not attacking but a wounded animal, right? <laughs> it's yeah. always the most dangerous when you attack, so you gotta watch out. <laughs> Well, he felt the reach advantage could help him strike over the guard. Might as well have a pop at it, but uh, to no avail there. Final 10 seconds. Gamesmanship now from Chero as he flicks out, firing those quadriceps for the front kick. And both men believe they have done enough here as our opening bout this evening comes to a close. We think it was a close fight. I think that uh, it was a close fight, but I think it went to Cherry. Well, let's take a look back at that third round and the have a look damage. at some of the work done by both men here. That was right at the start of this round. But this is where, yeah, that looked a little bit like to the back of the head. Back That's why the referee head. stopped it, yeah. It's a very hard fight to call. I think with the damage, you would think that Cherry's got it, but then with aggression constantly coming forward. I agree, was I agree. Bit Maybe because it. of the damage to the, the Cherry, he's going to get the victory. Yep. Yeah, lots to consider for our judges pit side here. Effective damage and aggression moving forward is, of course, the top criteria. But we're going to find out uh, how they have rendered their decision now. Let's head down into the pit and get our official decision. You got it. Yep, that's what we were thinking. So a win for Italian Gabriele Cera. He avenges his previous loss here at Karate Combat and picks up his first win here with the promotion. Commiserations to Alexandra Budabain, who drops to two and three. And Cera is going to bound up pit side for a few words with our broadcast colleague, Andrea Ocampo. Congratulations, very explosive in the first round. How were you able to maintain the, the stamina throughout? This fight uh, I provided with my coach, with my, with my uh, friend in the sparring. In this period, it's very difficult. But uh, we are working uh, very, very, very strong. 
And we definitely saw it. I mean, this is your first, first you know, win here at Karate Combat. What does this win mean for you? The win is uh, uh, the, the start. Okay, the start of the, of the, the, the do. Karate do. And what did your coach say right before you got into the pit? Oh, eh, good. <laughs> good. Congratulations. Good. Good. Thank good. you very much. Good. So, Gabriele Chera picks up that win. Robin, what did you see from that opening bout here this evening? Hey, that was a cool, cool fight. The way that Chera mastered the distance, mastered that distance on the outside, using his long-range weapons as his man moved in, slid back to hit, and it became too aggressive, went to that body lock and dropped him to the ground. Controlled all the different ranges. That was a sweet, sweet performance. Yes, a fantastic all-around performance from Gabriele Chara. Let's go and take a look at uh, all the moments from that fight. Bass, Lioto, talk us through these uh, these replays. Boink! That's what they call the body lock takedown. Boom! She dares to shoot on Gary, you see? Yeah, but after Gary. that, it was over. But why she shoot him? He, he didn't do any more, right? No, nope, nothing. I like that from Bodom Bain there, the right hook and the right uppercut. Unfortunately, he missed the uppercut, but this is where he gets hurt. You see, yeah. now he starts limping. Yeah, now he starts switching stances, as you can see right there. Yeah, yeah, very, very good fight, very good fight, and well deserved. Yeah.